Hi, how you doing? We are making a zuppa di cozze today, which is basically mussel soup. Now don't go, because it's not, uh, it's beautiful, fresh Boston Bay, South Australian mussels, with a tomato, chopped tomatoes, onion and celery, garlic and parsley, some nice dry white wine, which I had to test, and that's it. So let's start. We have our pot. We are putting on the heat, not too hot, just enough. So good quality olive oil. My, my stove just went off. First up, I'm going to get my onion and celery. I'm going to pluck my garlic out of there. And we are going to let that simmer and become a little transparent. All right, so I'm going to put the lid back on. First I'm going to put some salt and pepper on there up those bigger bits of onion. You don't want big onion chunks in your... S it's not like soup floating around soup. It's like a sauce for the mussels to soak up. And the only soupy bit is when you get to the bottom and there's a bit of liquid and you mop it up with bread. Which is just yum. Okay, the garlic. Again, my trusty garlic. Ah, that's some heat going now. I'm going to turn that down a bit. Try to put a bit of Alrighty. Oh, I think that would be one of the best smells ever. Garlic, onion, and oil. Okay, we're going to add some pepper. Some salt. Here we are. Heat up a little bit. Now I'm just going to shut the lid on here and let that simmer for a bit. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to add the tomato. This is just pulp tomato. Yeah, look out for spit everywhere. The wine. Now I've got to fess up because uh, you're going to be saying, "Why did that wine go all bubbly?" It's because I didn't have any dry my wine, so I've actually put prosecco in there. But that's okay. You improvise in these things. Okay, I'm going to keep that heat up a little more. Let that alcohol cook off a little, and then I'm going to add the mussels. You've got about 10 minutes, you've got to let that simmer. All right? Let that simmer for about 10 minutes. If your sauce is getting a little thick before the onions and the celery is completely cooked, you've got a choice. Three things. You can add a bit of water. Don't stand in front of the steam. You can add a bit more wine. Or you can add a bit of fish stock. I am going to add just a bit more water. So stay right there. Okay. Perfect. Here we are. Bit of water in there. Okay. Heat come back up. Because what you want, you want enough juice that it's going to coat the mussels, but not so that they're swimming. Does that make sense? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Time to add the mussels. In they go. I've rinsed those mussels. So the lid goes on, and what you want is a pair of oven gloves. 
Where did they go? Don't look at all that mess! Tim! Once you find your oven bits... Shake them all up. Give them a stir. Make sure they're all getting some of that sauce. Oh yeah, opening up. And they're absorbing all of that. Yummy, yummy. Sauce. You don't want to cook them too long, you just want them to open up and absorb all that yummy flavour. Okay, heat off. All the mussels have opened up. I'm going to add the parsley. I'm just going to stir that through a little. Oh yeah. Okay. And then you don't want the parsley to be crunchy, you just want it to wilt a little. And then my friends, is zumba de cozzi. Not too much sauce. A little, okay? And now. Bon appetito! And don't forget to subscribe. Go on, push the button. You know you want to. Push it, push it, push it. Ciao.